Hi and welcome to another episode of The Grind. My name is Violet Njeki and today we're going to be talking a bit about the fashion industry. But this one has a little bit of a twist. It's all about indoor wear. What do you wear when, when you're at home? Do you ever think of where they're coming from? How much are they being sold? I'm only later when you decide, you know what? This is what I'm going to be using when I'm indoors. Today I'm talking to an amazing lady who's going to tell us why she decided to venture into this business. How has it been of help to her and even to people around her? Karibu sana. Thank you. Please introduce yourself. My name is Wanjiro. Mm -hmm. Santeni sana. Karibu sana kwa duka yetu. Mm -hmm. My name is Wanjiro Mosheke, owner of the Modern Living Stores. Mm -hmm. Uh, specifically it's an indoor wear store. Mm -hmm. Well I was searching for something to wear indoor, a good pajama, mm -hmm. a good bonnet, mm -hmm. good indoor slippers. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find them anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, quality kidogo ilikuwa chini. Pia you have to really dig deeper into these online yeah. pages for you to look for something nice. Mm -hmm. And I thought this well, is a know, gap in the yeah. market. Mm -hmm. So I decided to venture into this. I mostly uh, import my stuff. Mm -hmm. A few are made in Kenya, but I import most of them, just mm -hmm. to be honest, mm -hmm. in different countries. And I've uh, been able to venture into the fashion wear industry, mm -hmm. mostly in the indoor market. Mm -hmm. For example, for you, you need a pajama, yeah. a good robe, you're yeah. having your bridal shower, you yeah. need those robes, you know, yeah. the makeup robes that you see. The uko flashy, zina. Flashy, uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. We do all that. Yeah. You have a pajama party, you have, you know, you and your girls who want to chill indoors, but looking yeah. very classy. This, so this is the home for you. Yeah. So. Before we talk about where you get your, your items from, yes. tell me, when did you start this business? My business is now going uh, two years old. Two years, yeah. nice. Uh, uh, it has grown tremendously, as you can see from our social pages and everything. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, I have a big team. We also put a lot of work behind that mm -hmm. to get where we are. Mm -hmm. yes. So two years in, yeah. when did you sit down and decide? Uh, you said that you saw like there's an open market for yes. this. Yes. Did you just begin okay let me let me sell it How actually did you start? actually the starting story is very funny everyone mm -hmm. thinks it's not true mm -hmm. i did start my business with five thousand kenya shillings 5, yes yes, uh -huh. yes first of all i was selling thrifted stuff i would go to gekomba mm -hmm. get the 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 night dresses mm -hmm. sell them door to door to people door and to door. yes wow. yes yes the thrifted uh, mm -hmm. night dresses mm -hmm. the silk ones mm -hmm. then I, I realized people need them i couldn't even if i collected a hundred pieces i wouldn't mm -hmm. stay with them in a day i would sell wow, off okay, everything and this is what a 200 shillings night dress mm -hmm. i decided why don't i encompass my business to more stuff mm -hmm. bring more things that women need indoors mm -hmm. when i was going through around the every shop mm -hmm. just knocking do you need a night dress mm -hmm. then i realized guys are asking me do you have indoor slippers do you have bonnets uh, so do you for stuff, for stuff. so them. i decided to sit down mm -hmm. and think of a plan of how i can bring everything mm -hmm. a girl comes here she is going for a honeymoon mm -hmm. she will get her night dress mm -hmm. she'll get her sexy wears mm -hmm. everything here All in one. yes 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 ah. yeah. so for two years you de when did you decide you know what let me start importing let me move from the thrift is it only because they asked maybe you don't have something is that the reason why you decided let me import or uh, yes that is one thing that i decided to import mm -hmm. stuff is because in the thrifted market, I would get everything yes, that I want. Right. Then, you know, in the thrifted market, you mm -hmm. have to go for fast cameras, you have to wash, mm -hmm. you have to make everything look uh, nice. Mm -hmm. But on the import market, when I bring everything, it's ready to wear. Mm -hmm. You just wash and dry and you're, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Again, about the import market, I can source the quality that I need for mm -hmm. my clients. Mm -hmm. And then everything that I need numbers. Mm -hmm. For example, people asking for size 18, I can bring 100 pieces of mm -hmm. size 18. This uh, you can't get in the thrifted market. Yes, yes. You collect one, 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 one. one yeah, yeah. so sure uh, I have a bridal party that needs uh, 20 robes mm -hmm. and they are size 12, 10, 18, 20. You come here, you get everything. Yeah. All sizes, all colors, mm -hmm. you get everything. Yeah. This is not something you find in the thrifted market. Yeah. And then about quality and affordability and also class. Mm -hmm. As you can see, everything just yeah, it <laughs> resonates amazing. classes. Yeah. So yeah. Before we talk about that, yeah. you told me you started with 5,000 shillings. Yeah. Was this for the thrifted or for these new ones? Yeah. For the thrifted, uh -huh. for n new ones, I still did not start so high. Mm -hmm. I my business started at uh, a fee of around uh, fifteen to twenty thousand. Uh, I imported, mm -hmm. got my stuff from the cargo, cleared, mm -hmm. and then I hit off the online market mm -hmm. and hit very well uh -huh. on the IG page. Uh -huh. yeah. 
So when you get your imports, you say do you import from different countries or do yes. you have a specific one? Yeah, no, I import from different countries because mm -hmm. of sizing. For mm -hmm. example, the turkey sizes, they are a bit big, they fit the African market very well. Mm -hmm. So whenever I'm sourcing for something for plus size, I go for the turkey market. Mm -hmm. uh, for the small size ladies, uh, Korea, China, that's mm -hmm. good for me. Mm -hmm. For if I want in between average and if I want stuff from that will fit uh, in the size 12 to 16, mm -hmm. I go for Indonesia or USA. Uh -huh. That, you know, our African sizes, matters in yes. different countries yes. so that's what i try to source and yeah. then what is moving fast mm -hmm. what are the girls looking want? for yeah, yes yes true. yes so i have to also source that mm -hmm. if i concentrate in one country you find vitu zinajirudia sita pata zile sizes so i have to keep switching those countries for everyone to get their needs it's all about inclusivity yes 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 yes, yes. yes. so when you get your imports mm -hmm. how long does it take for you to get from uh, when you order them to when they get to the port until you get them to your place? Actually, my courier is very efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, he operates in all the countries that mm -hmm. I import stuff from. Mm -hmm. It takes about two weeks at most. Two weeks? Yes. Th does that not like uh, hinder your clients? Like, I need this maybe in the next few days and you don't have No, what my team does, mm -hmm. we do something called stock inventory. Mm -hmm. So I know at around time, this time we'll have cleared this, so I need to have shipped this by this time. Yes. So I also plan my clients, the, these items will be arriving at this date, at this date, at this date. Mm -hmm. Again, we don't wait until we are sold out for us to import or restock something. Mm -hmm. We keep venturing into more. Every week we have some shipment coming in. Uh, yeah. So that you do not run out of stock? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So when you you've talked about quality as well. Yes. Because as a person in business, quality is something that should matter most of the time. Yes. How are you able to tell that this is the quality I need, this is not what I want? When I'm shipping, there's something called grade one, grade two. And you'll find even the price differences online when I'm shipping with my courier. Mm -hmm. Also something I do with a lot of sensitivity, I get samples first. Mm -hmm. When I ah, see the sample okay. is good, that's when I bring in the whole cargo now. Mm -hmm. Yes, because most of the clients are like, I didn't expect this for online business. Whenever mm -hmm. I buy, quality is always lower than the picture. Yes. So as you can see even on my social sites, I try to model those stuff myself to show the clients actually what you are buying is what you what get. Because uh, as you can see in the online industry, you cannot really tell my client is from Nairobi yes, so we, yes. we ship even outside country mm -hmm. we ship outside the city Mombasa Kisumu mm -hmm. Tanzania Uganda Nigeria mm -hmm. so I, I try to show the clients this is a quality even mm -hmm. before you buy mm -hmm. client will always tell you send me the picture that is not in the page like mm -hmm. an actual picture so I try to model all this stuff for you to see mm -hmm. what you are buying is actually the mm -hmm. actual quality yeah. Yes. So you said you get clients even outside Kenya. Yeah. How are you able to build your market to get to that stage? Actually, you know, we have moved to the digital era nowadays. Yes. So I, we are, I, I mostly uh, market my business online through the social platforms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Through and then I have influencers mm -hmm. all around the globe mm -hmm. that make me get the market outside there. So when you sell outside the country, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to ask this question in general to pricing. Yeah. How are you able to price that? This is, is, do you sell the same price as you sell in here that you sell out there? Yeah. When what you get in the page is what is well, that is the price globally. Mm -hmm. So if this is uh, two thousand shillings, mm -hmm. that is USD twenty. Mm -hmm. That is what a Nigeria client will buy and a Kenyan client. Mm -hmm. Yes. What matters is the shipping costs. Yes. yes. So the shipping cost does it incur for the client? Or for you? The client will incur the shipping costs. As a business, we can't <laughs> carry that, yes. to be very sincere. Yes. yes. So uh, tell me about when it comes to, I have seen your work mm -hmm. and I need one of the stuff that you're selling. How do I get to place my order? Oh, well, our contacts are all over the social media. We have a 24-hour support uh, line. Mm -hmm. You just call us via WhatsApp, mm -hmm. via IG, mm -hmm. DM, messages, mm -hmm. text us. Mm -hmm. We'll be there to Hudumia you. You just tell me this is my size. Yes. If you're not sure about your size, client prefer to send their pictures. Can you tell my size by this picture? Yes. So we we'll ask you for your details of your location. Mm -hmm. And we actually have riders. I'll show you shortly how the orders move out up mm -hmm. to the client doorstop. Yeah. yeah. So you were in the beginning it, uh, when we were uh, catching up about your business, you told me it is not a store actually, it's just online. Uh, I can say this is our pickup location. Mm -hmm. 
uh, we can call this a store because I've uh, lived in modest collection and a modest collection for about two years mm -hmm. now. Client come here, they fit in their clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, people have uh, various needs. I need to see the robes first before, you know, you are buying a pajama party for about 10 people. Mm -hmm. I want to see the quality. We want to fit with my girls. So mm -hmm. you come here. So I can say we are online, but you are still, this is our location that you can find us. Uh, but you, as much as you are online, where did you decide let us major... Uh, entirely the bigger part we do online instead of having like a physical store where people just go in this is yours uh, I, uh, you know as i mentioned before we've moved to digital era you are in the office mm -hmm. your function is happening on saturday you mm -hmm. have no time to come to town and shop mm -hmm. honestly i send you your stuff there mm -hmm. you can tell me this size don't fit we change immediately mm -hmm. I mean, I told mm -hmm. you I have clients in Mombasa, in Mombasa Kisumu, yeah. they can't reach us. Yes. And uh, most of our staff, as you can see, because they are indoor, we are just uh, light and stuff. Mm -hmm. We have so many clients down there at the mm -hmm. coast. Yeah. They will not come to the store to fit. True. So mm -hmm. I decided to venture into the online store to reach everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all a matter of client trusting us, sending us the cargo, mm -hmm. and then you receiving the cargo on that end. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, for Wanjiro, our online has been one of the major things that has been able to make a business prosper. But has it always been a smooth sailing? We'll be answering these questions and more after the break. You are watching TV 47, the home of untold stories. Welcome back to The Grind. For those who missed the first part, my name is Violet Njeki. And today I'm talking to Wanjiro and she's getting to explain to me why, even though she's in the fashion industry, she decided indoor wear is where I'm going to base my clients. Indoor, indoor wear is where I'm going to get my business. And Wanjiro, let me ask you, you say that you get clients even from outside Nairobi. How do they get to place their order? Do they call and say, Nataka Ikuja Mombasa? And how are they able to make their payments? Yeah, so we first communicate with the client to build that trust. Yes. I show you the videos, mm -hmm. I show you the photos. Mm -hmm. If you're not sure of your size, you send me your picture. So mm -hmm. we're able to know tentatively, kitu haita enda irudi, haita kosa kumfit. Mm -hmm. So we send them once you clarify this is the size, mm -hmm. this is the color. Mm -hmm. And then you tell me there are two ways of sending, maybe in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. They are via Wells Fargo, mm -hmm. it is up to your doorstep. Mm -hmm. And then I've partnered with the Modern Coast offices. Mm -hmm. That is where you get your cargo in their office. Mm -hmm. That takes about 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So once we send, you get your cargo the following day. Mm -hmm. Of important is to just say, I'm here to make money. Yes. <laughs> so I allow the client first to pay, and then we send the, the cargo. Also, they have to pay first before the cargo reaches yes. to them. Yes, yes. And tell me about, I've seen you have quite different stuff. Yes. How do you price the different items that you have? It's all a matter of how much did I buy it? Mm -hmm. How much did I use to clear with the cargo, uh, with the shipment mm -hmm. department? Mm -hmm. Then I'm able to know this is quite good for my market. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to overprice. Mm -hmm. Anyone won't afford my stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, again, I don't want to underprice because mm -hmm. of the quality of my stuff, as you can see. Yes. So I arrive at a certain uh, selling price. Mm -hmm. 
through they that. They all have the same starting price. No, like no. When no. it comes to the fluffy shoes and the gowns. No, no. Like mm -hmm. for the fluffy shoes goes to fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. For the gowns like this mm -hmm. goes to two thousand. For the uh, fleece uh, gowns, they go for 2500 As mm -hmm. you can see, something affordable. Mm -hmm. And I see that you also do kids' wear as well. Yeah, yeah uh, we do some pajamas for kids mm -hmm. and their bonnets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So let's just talk. It's not always been smooth, I'm sure. It's business. It's been rough. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the challenges that you faced? Especially during the COVID, mm -hmm. you know, finances were low for most people. Mm -hmm. So you could find we don't have sales. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at some point we had to, you know, Close down, yes, tone yes. down. I'm not doing a lot of shipment as mm -hmm. I do a weekly. Yeah. And then another thing is a competition mm -hmm. with very uh, low quality stuff. You yes. find a client telling me, I found this one. Mm -hmm. I've, I bought my pajama at a thousand bob. Mm -hmm. I usually try to convince the client, can I send our pajama to your location? Mm -hmm. We will stand in for the delivery fee for you to yeah. see the quality of yeah, stuff. But, yeah. you know, I'm trying to show people that we can actually have quality mm -hmm. versus pricing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is one of the challenge. The other mm -hmm. one is uh, uh, women in Kenya have not yet embraced living luxurious <laughs> indoors, you <laughs> know. Life, yeah, yeah, soft yeah. life, yeah. We poor are still sleeping with kibaki tosha t-shirts, <laughs> mutu bado anafunga stocking kwa stocking. kichwa. Yeah. Come, let's grace you indoors. Let you look Whatever you reflect out, outside, let mm. you reflect indoors. Mm. Yeah, you are relaxing there with your good pajama. You mm. have a bathrobe. Mm. Whenever you are traveling with your bays, yeah. come get yourself a sexy <laughs> yeah. night dress from yeah. us. Yes. So you do not work alone. How many employees do you have at the moment? I think I have around uh, five. Mm. The shop attendants are two, mm. and then I have riders, two mm. of them, mm. and I have an errand person who sends parcels in town. Mm. Yeah, and then I run behind the pages, mm. the managing everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how do you, when they when you employ them, mm -hmm. they have to need to have like a, a bit of knowledge about fashion, or did you have to train them on what no, your you business know, you requires? Have to train the employees, yeah? mm -hmm. you have to tell them this is what I'm selling in case a client come, customer care, everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And then about the riders, you know, if that, that usually the rough part of business. Mm -hmm. But a riders when you see was half in, 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 in that part had to come with a lot of customer care. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when uh, you've started, now you've said two years in, have you ever gotten a client that is so adamant that they, uh, you send them something they do not pay or rather they don't uh, give you the full amount. Have you ever had to deal with such kind of clients? Yeah, we have even dealt with con women here mm -hmm. in Nairobi. You deliver the items, mm -hmm. they send it to M-Pesa and then they reverse. Oh. So in that case, we had to come with a pay bill that mm -hmm. have a short code. Mm -hmm. Once you enter, the money comes into our account, it's unreversible. Mm -hmm. So I had, the bank also had to come in there because I was losing a lot of finances through mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. Somebody ordered something, they said, like, I sent, they send you the message and later they reverse. Mm -hmm. I'm so busy with the orders and everything, running the the business behind the back, mm -hmm. I find the money was reversed. Again, uh, clients who get their items, maybe it is more they want to change. Mm -hmm. I had to again go back to my lawyer for him to write for us a refund and an exchange policy. Mm -hmm. So before you purchase something, you go to my page, mm -hmm. run about the refund and the exchange policy. For example, this is an indoor wear stuff. Yes. I don't expect that 48 hours later you're still coming to change. Oh, that, yeah. This is a very intimate something, yeah. you know. You've bought a bodysuit, you've already tried, you want to change. Yeah. So my lawyer had to come in with every different item, how you can change, you mm -hmm. can exchange, mm -hmm. the refund policy and everything, just to cover ourselves and also to cover our clients out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you don't want something that is smelling sweat, everything. Yeah, These are true. intimate indoor wear stuff. I have to really take care of my clients across. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and when, when you started this business and you seen how far it's gone have you has your profits that you've made has it opened you to other aspects or you've just dealt with the indoor wares no no i've already opened another shop that is running currently mm -hmm. that nice. is going strong because guys are coming can we get bikinis from you mm -hmm. can we get uh, sunnies can we get outdoor stuff you've mm -hmm. done so much uh, for me, in indoors, I want outdoors. Mm -hmm. So we've been, uh, my passion was indoors, but I've been pushed further to open the outdoors mm -hmm. where. But I will only deal with uh, maybe holiday stuff, mm -hmm. uh, uh, good slippers for holidays, yes. you know, uh, some nice bikinis, some good cover ups. Mm -hmm. uh, so the factory is working on that. I'll mm -hmm. be rolling out uh, in June. Ah, that is good. Uh, so what has being in this kind of a business taught you as a person? Has it, has it broadened your thinking or when it comes to business? Yeah, first of all, it has taught me resilience. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that comes easy. You have to really market your business. Mm -hmm. You have to be there. Then the aspect of people relying on you, you have employees, somebody mm -hmm. who has to place bread on their table. Yes. 
through your business mm -hmm. has really made me mature, mm -hmm. has made me to see myself in another limb like that I didn't see, being responsible. Yes. And uh, no matter what I usually tell them, we can't close, we have to keep moving. Because yes. our watu now wana tegemea modern living stores mm -hmm. kueka chakula kwa meza yao. Yes. So it has taught me to be responsible. Another mm -hmm. thing, the finance aspect, mm -hmm. we all have money. So yes. <laughs> has, I mean, seen through, <laughs> has seen me through bad days. I'm able to sort my bills, I'm able to do my everything just mm -hmm. to shock everybody in the set that i'm employed full time mm -hmm. yes and this is like a side hustle which has come to be a main <laughs> yeah. hustle uh, but i'm employed full time so i'm trying to tell kenyans mm -hmm. through your employment you can run something on the site you mm -hmm. don't have necessarily to be in the shop mm -hmm. you have to online space has created for you you can have five business running yes, and you're time, still going yeah. through your business mm -hmm. yes and before uh, i forgot to ask you this question well before you started the uh, your business were you employed somewhere else or was it out of uh, you did not have a job that you decided, let me start this. I decided not to mention this before we started the set, but I was ho a hawker in the street of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I told you I was hawking my yeah, life dresses. Cool. I didn't have any other employment. Uh -huh. As a graduate, I was going through a lot. You know, mm -hmm. once you graduate in you're, this you're country, yes, I am a graduate. Mm -hmm. I have even an MB. An MBA. So uh -huh. before you get wait, which course? <laughs> communications okay. and marketing. Uh -huh. uh, before you 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 go uh, through the employment cycle, you know, in the yeah. corporate world, you go through cycles of looking for jobs, looking yes. for a job. Mm -hmm. Just to mention, I was a young mom looking for something to feed my kid. Yes. So we could drop CVs everywhere, everywhere. I decided now let's be wise. Karatasi nyumbani, mimi na haso pamoja. So I decided to go to the market. Drifted no stuff. I, as I told you, indoor wear was my passion. Mm -hmm. Natakanga kukatu vizuri kwa nyumba niko vizuri. So mm -hmm. that's how I started with the thrift business. Nazururisha uku town, ikauza kuuza. Mm -hmm. So I decided now to venture into this as a business. Mm -hmm. Once I got employment, got some finances, I decided uh, to fully fund finance. my business mm -hmm. through the capital in my the yeah, work. Yes, yes. yes. So when you started two years in, has it ever occurred to you that in a day, unamko unasema, you know what, I think I'm tired. Uh, this business is not going as I had expected it to be going. Uh, thank God and glory to God, my business has really moved from one step to another. I've never thought of such. Mm -hmm. And every day we are motivated to bring more stuff, more stuff, more mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, not to brag, but my business has had sales every day. Nice. So sa tujai fikiria tunafunga. Ata ile time tukona sale moja, tunasema alimudu ya hey, we are well. Yeah. Yes. And uh, if someone wants to start this business or even this kind of, uh, of, uh, of business rather, what advice will you give them that they need to put in mind before they take the next step? Quality, uh, sizes, sizes is a problem here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And when you concentrate so much in shipping in China, you won't get the prices. So venture into different countries for mm -hmm. you to get shipping. And then be ready to deal with women. <laughs> we have all kinds of moods, yeah. all kinds of, some people are grateful, some are ungrateful. Mm -hmm. And then be resilient mm -hmm. and then always give God thanks in everything. If you're not resilient, see business, how to right. go. Not even on this, every mm -hmm. business, kuna highs and lows, so you have to remain focused and mm -hmm. resilient mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. yeah. And what is that one thing that keeps on zero going and some alone yes, boy, 20, that's all. Kumambo ya pesa, poverty, poverty can keep you going. Yeah. I wake up, I usually tell people I don't sleep. At night, I'm taking orders, I'm sponsoring my business, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get my business to the next level. I sleep at uh, around midnight, mm -hmm. and by 4 a.m. I'm awake, chatting wow. with the clients who are chatting me at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so money, poverty, I don't want poverty near me, I have been poor, yeah. I never want to be poor again, yeah. yes. And if someone wants to get in contact with you or wants to get your items, how will they do that? Uh, we are online everywhere, in Facebook, Modern Living Stores, mm -hmm. in IG, Modern Living Stores. Mm -hmm. Our contacts are there. Just yeah, you can see your contacts as well. 0729-357-428, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Modern Living Stores, in mm -hmm. IG, in Facebook, across all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Messages, callers, DMs, WhatsApp, we will serve you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Wanjiro. Well, for Wanjiro, the aim is to kick poverty out, and resilience is what has kept our business running two years in. And I can say, 
And what I can see right now, success has been her portion. Well, that is all we had for you here today on The Grind. Tell us, who do you want us to talk to? Which business do you want us to visit? Talk to us on all our platforms, TV47KE. And remember to tell us where you are, where you're watching from. Until next week, when you go to another business, another entrepreneur, my name is Violet Njeki. See you soon.